I think a lot of anarchists end up with the same institutions, but they call them kind of different names that fit into their ideology. But ultimately, the, the relationships between right. people are, end up kind of similar because you have the you still have the, the same issue you need a big powerful trustworthy security force and it does need to be centralized to basically stop everyone from you know stop the bad actors from from trying to expand their property and that security force has to be restrained has to have enough self-restraint not to sort of take the property for themselves and and then people who are running that security force they're not running it for free they, they need to they're doing a lot of work in terms of in terms of catching crime and stuff like that so hmm. so they need a salary so so then somebody's got to pay them and you know you, you can call that taxes or you can call it you know voluntary fees or subscriptions or whatever you want but the the problems the problems the same so the the underlying organization is going to be the same but i think enforcing it all with a computer code is it's definitely an interesting idea and I think there's potential for such a system to be more responsive and less corruptible. Although there's also potential for all sorts of new problems in that system. But I think it's worth giving it a try and uh, and seeing how it works. 